Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios as multiplicative comparisons. This is standard 6.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a ratio in this word problem here. A grocery store orders four large containers of milk for every seven small containers of milk. And then which ratio, ratio could represent the number of large to small? So we're at least staying in the same order there. So we have a ratio of four to seven. So what I'm going to do is you notice that each of these are represented with these these dots here so we could represent four I'm going to put large 4L to 7S or we could use the word 2 or we could use a fractional notation and quite honestly that's a little bit easier for me because what we're going to do is we need to find a ratio that could represent an equivalent uh, fraction to these. So what we're looking at is 4 sevenths, and does it equal either these 18, 21, 14 over 8, or 16 over 49? So let's just look at it like this. Uh, let's see. Let's start with this first one. 18 over 21. As long as we've got the large on top and the small on the bottom, that's fine. We don't have to put the L or the S. So we think, how do we multiply to get from 4 to 18 and from 7 to 21? Because if we multiply by something that's equal to 1, like 2 halves, 3 thirds, 4 fourths, 5 fifths, then we're good. That's an equivalent ratio. Uh, 4 times 18, there's nothing that goes in there evenly. I know 7 times 3 makes 21. So if I wanted this to be equal, it would have to be 3 over 3rd. That's what makes it equivalent fraction. That's what makes stays within that ratio. But 4 times 3, uh, that makes, makes 12, doesn't make 21. So 18 to 21 is not going to work. So let's do this right here. 4 times 7 times what? I've got the 14 over 8. You know what? That would work if they would flip it. I see what they did here. Take a look at that. If they were to flip it, let's say they did 8 fourteenths. Well, that's easy then. Look at that. That'd be 2 over 2, and we'd be good to go. Problem is, they didn't do 8 over 14. They did 14 over 8. They're just hoping you didn't notice the order. So now we've got to try to figure out 4 times what makes 14? Nothing. 7 times what makes 8? Nothing. So that is just a big fat no. Let's look at this next one. 4 sevenths, 16, 49. So well, at least 4 times something makes 16, and 7 times something makes 49. The problem is, is 4 times 4 makes 16, and 7 times 7 makes 49. That would only work if you got 4 over 4, or if you had 7 over 7. But that is not an equivalent ratio because it's not multiplied by something that's equal to 1, like 4 fourths or 7 7. So that is not the answer. So it looks like our answer is going to be J, none of these. And we didn't find one that was equivalent. What is equivalent? Well, let's make our own equivalent. Let's Let's do 4 sevenths, and let's just double it, right? So that would be 8 fourteenths. We already decided that. we could 8 fourteenths could have worked, right? And then we could add another 4, and we could just keep going by multiples of 4 and 7, right? We can do 12 over 21, 16 over 28, 20 over 35. See, all of these are equivalent ratios, and all of these would have worked. Problem is, is they didn't give us any of these. So our answer is J.